I'm Mr. Walsh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all things M8 competition convertible. Now, as you can see behind me, here it is. I've had a massive upgrade, thanks so much to BMW UK, for my birthday. What a treat! So for the last two weeks, I've been bumming around in this beast behind me. And on today's video, we're gonna have a look around the car. I'm gonna take you inside the car and figure out what all the buttons do. We're going to talk about price, the price of this car. Sorry, how much? And of course, we're going to figure out how to send the power to the rear wheels to do things like this. So introducing the first ever M8 competition convertible, offering the best of luxury combined with the stunning racetrack performance. I am a little late to the party. Uh, I missed the press trip last year. Uh, I was away somewhere, uh, but I do remember driving the M850i with Rory Reed. Does anybody remember that? Here's a little clip of what we got up to. It's, it's, it's working! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! This car is going to be <laughs> filthy when they get it back. I feel bad, but I don't really. Yeah. That's it, that's it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I need a high, so uh, high five for that, that one. <laughs> Dear BMW, that wasn't me. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, a little bit naughty, but lots of fun. Anyway, here is its big brother or its big dad. I don't know. It's so beasty. The M8 competition convertible. It is a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. And this thing pumps out about 625 horsepower. Absolute monster. And about 750 newton meters of torque. Nought to 62 in about 3.3 seconds. So it is rapid, rapid, rapid. And it has the M carbon exterior package. So you'll see a lot of carbon fiber everywhere all up here on the grill there's some on the wing mirrors and there's some on the back which we'll have a look at but this car looks mean from the front i love the black grill pretty beasty all these uh vents that have a purpose and then it's got the uh, bmw laser lights which are uh, pretty epic and then these amazing i really like these the uh, 20 inch bicolor star spokes uh, that come with this spec. This is quite highly spec. <laughs> I'll tell you the price in a minute, but they start from 130,000. Um, more carbon fiber on the side vents. I think those are just for for um, looks to look a little bit mean. And the carbon fiber here on the side. There's my new camera. Hello. Talk about that in a minute. Let's move on to the back. This is the. This is what I'm talking about at the back here. This little lip here. It's just. I just feel like it's too little like either maybe bring it round a little bit more out I'm not sure it just feels like it was a uh, I don't know maybe the, I don't know maybe you know there's a technical reason for that uh, but it does look quite a uh, beastie from behind nice exhaust and then again that uh, carbon fiber at the back so that M carbon fiber exterior package has been uh, added onto this one which I'm sure is quite pricey uh, let's jump inside and have a little look Okay, so automatically you notice the uh, the interior, well I do anyway, this nice quilted merino leather. It is the Silverstone full uh, merino leather and I love a car uh, that has that white interior. I just think it looks super lush uh, and great if you're filming in it or even just when you're driving at night. It just feels feels really cozy. Uh, this by the way is the Brands Hatch um, metallic colour. Uh, it is an option and I think it's a free option actually if you spec. Your car, this car is 100 horsepower more than the 850i that I drove, so you definitely feel it, uh, and the price is definitely a lot more. The Bose and Wilkins uh, sound system, can you see the like uh, flower effect or the diamond effect it shows? It um, looks amazing at night, it lights up, 
uh, along with the uh, interior of the car that lights up too that you can change color which I spoke about on the M235i it's got the same options I put my water bottles in here so you can put two of these chili water bottles this looks really nice when it comes down again with the uh, carbon fiber and that uh, M brand over there looking pretty stealth in black uh, and then it's got your charger for your phone which I've noticed obviously if you're putting your phone there and you put your thing away it's kind of hidden which is good so you don't use your phone I guess but I mean personally I don't know many people that actually use that wireless charging mine's always in the uh, in that looking at the maps and then plugged in from there into the uh, the USB point here to keep it charged uh, in here it's a nice little space so we've got my rings here I've got a thousand masks in here some hand sanitizer and some wipes uh, and then my spare cable for my plug-in so there's actually quite a lot of space in there which is quite nice uh, we'll get to the back in a minute but as you can see I mean I'm pretty short and there's not a lot of space back there um, you've got the child seats on both sides which is good so I guess if you're a family with two young kids you know you've got the uh, the luxury of the car uh, and also the speed uh, that you can take it on the racetrack and you can keep your kids in there as well um, right I like that it looks much nicer like that steering wheels look amazing you've got your M1 and M2 that you can configure yourself on the menu it's actually it's a little bit more complicated there's a whole setup menu that you've got to go through uh, to put the car in all the different modes which we'll talk about in a minute uh, and then it's got the heated steering wheel and obviously all the uh, usual buttons over here and of course your paddle shifts over here which actually I can reach a little bit better on that it's pretty windy today let's start this car up and talk through the thing I love the uh, the red starter button Whoa. so automatically the the wheel comes down to my kind of seated position and then you've got if you go to your home screen your home screen <laughs> um, if you go to the car option bring the radio down uh, car option there you'll see it's got the M menu so the M menu takes you into this one so that's where you configure your m1 and m2 buttons on the steering wheel here so you can kind of make it into like i don't know crazy mode and even crazier mode uh, and then you'll hit up display which i found recently i didn't actually know and i know this sounds stupid but i can never see the head up display i didn't realize you could actually change the height so i've obviously made it uh, a lot higher so i can see above the steering wheel <laughs> um, but then if you go back uh, you've got your instrument cluster as well so that's where you kind of do all of that kind of stuff uh, but then over here I know this gets quite confusing you press the setup menu and that takes you into this menu and this is where you want to be because engine you click it down and click it down you want it in Sport Plus obviously there isn't much difference I would say between Sport and Sport Plus that I can feel on the road uh, maybe you could feel it a little bit more on the track and then obviously the chassis you can put in Sport Plus the steering you can put in Sport and the braking you can put in Sport as well now this MX drive is where you put the car into rear wheel drive uh, which I'm going to show you later uh, but this can only happen when the um, traction control is off and you have to hold that in to turn it off so hold it in hold it in hold it in for quite a while and then it turns it off and then you can configure MX drive which goes into that and you can obviously change it into two-wheel drive and that sends all the power to the back and that's how you do your your donuts and your uh, your wheel spins and all that kind of stuff um, in this car but the minute you turn the car off uh, it resets back to to everything else so turn the car off and it goes back to kind of a safe mode uh, which is uh, pretty cool and then it's just the normal um, you know media this is all pretty similar to all the BMWs now it's obviously got your maps and your navigation um, you know you can use this or it is also a uh, touch screen so you can touch want to but obviously if you're driving this is probably better to use and so is this um, let's talk about the shifter because I in the M850i it was the crystal shifter which I absolutely hated I thought it was so like I just thought it looked cheap I know it should have looked expensive but I just I really didn't uh, like that feature so I'm happy that they brought back I think it's from the M5 if I'm not mistaken um, the the leather thing here with the uh, the M color stitching which I think looks a lot better this little guy <laughs> is always on for me because I want to hear the car, all these new regulations, the um, 
you know you can't hear the cars as well as you would like but I just we just need to get used to that because that's just how it's going to be now uh, but that does give it a little bit more oomph here you've got your convertible up and down takes the roof on and off and then this is your um, air scarf I think it's called uh, which blows the air through that vent over there if your head's not bashing on it like mine parking brake and then the same with this it's kind of kind of like a manual they've kind of made it like a manual but it's not so that's reverse um, to drive and then you can kind of go manual with the with the paddle shifts and then in the middle is neutral but I do actually battle between the the automatic drive and the shifty so you can go up and down like I never know when it's actually in uh, maybe I'm just being silly but I never know when it's actually in oh look it lights up I guess oh okay so you've got to push it twice and then it's your up and down gears I think uh, what else parking assist obviously that's your engine on and off and the cameras the cameras on this car are amazing 360 degrees this camera it's pretty impressive you've got park assist of course uh, reversing assist uh, and all that jazz there are uh, they're amazing they're a really great feature and then of course over here your aircon system your fan um, your hazards uh, max aircon which is one I've been using a lot lately and then you've got your seat heaters and seat ventilators as well so the air kind of comes through these vents here on the seat uh, which is quite nice on a hot summer's day it kind of blows that cool air or if you're freezing cold you can put the heat heat seaters seat heaters there we go uh, on and that's also quite nice uh, that's pretty much the interior of this car you've got your door lock um, your seat settings the windows and then down here is the this took me a while but it's got the the uh, bonnet you've got to pull twice to open and you've really got to slam it to close it which I've now realized and then this opens the boot so bonnet and boots and then I guess your pedals and my amazing new shoes that I got for my birthday and then of course there's M mode uh, you press that and that uh, dictates whether you're in road sport or track I'm always in sport, and then I always go into the setup menu and put it into the sport plus features uh, but then the uh, M mode you've got to hold down for track so you've got to hold for ages before it goes in track mode uh, but obviously you're not allowed to be going in track on the uh, public roads so we just leave that out uh, well, that's pretty much it they've got the uh, the cruise control on the driver assist which is amazing it works so well this car almost drives itself it kind of turns corners for you the minute you take your hands off the steering wheel it shouts at you and do not even dare try and change lane without putting your indicator on because it will not it's so stubborn it's like no and it doesn't let you so uh, it, it works really well so the minute you press that that kind of does all the driving assist for you and then that's all it really this changes the the gear shift speed um, and that's it let's go and have a look in the back uh, to show you how much space or how little space there is okay I've left it on uh, my seat position um, also I forgot to say this comes out as a kind of a, a leg if you've got needs a bit of more support on your legs which I obviously don't because it extends the uh, length of that I need it back uh, for my short legs but that also comes out if you need that uh, I've left it in my seat position so we're just gonna move this here to see how much space there is so we're going to jump in and pull this back, okay? Oh, and then it goes back to my seat position. So I'm 5'2", and there's that much space. It feels really kind of cramped in the back, so I wouldn't suggest uh, for adults. I mean, although you can sit for people, um, it's quite cramped. And then you've also got, oh, that's a nice view. You've also got the hey bmw uh which is great but you don't have the gestures i've been like trying to turn the volume up but there's actually no space for a sensor because it's a convertible so i'm like hello uh, that doesn't work but this this is the back nothing else really got a bit of a sound system going on here you don't have the uh any kind of heated seats or vents or the uh air scarf here either so pretty standard in the back it's comfortable this is soft like plushy soft uh, it is comfortable yeah but look at that I mean, there's no space there for legs at all so yeah there's no compartment here it's just this one that is that's the back seat folks 
Nice view though. So before we start the engine and hear the sound of the exhaust, I'm going to tell you guys the price of this car because I was actually really shocked. Not that it's not worth that money because it's amazing. It's got everything. All the option extras. It's amazing inside. It's luxury and you can take it to the racetrack. So it is amazing. But someone was on the phone. They were like, oh, you've got the M8 competition. What's that? Like 80, 90 grand. I was like, well, actually, this car starts at 130,000. And this particular one, it's very highly specced, is 140,000. British pounds. That's a lot of money. That's like three M2 competitions in one. Like, I don't know. Like, I would, I don't know. That's almost secondhand Lamborghini territory. So, I want to know what you guys think about that. I think it's definitely worth the money. It's got everything. But are you an M8 competition person or are you a Lamborghini person? If you had 150,000 pounds, I want to know what you would spend it on. I need to have a think about that one. Uh, in the meantime, let's start up the car. <laughs> What do you think it sounds like? It's difficult to tell, so I'm gonna have to have to watch the video back and, and hear it myself because I've only driven it and not actually listened to it outside. Now for the fun part, we're going to put it into rear wheel drive and see what kind of naughty tricks we can do with the car. Come on. Oh, that was sexy. That was it. That's it. That's how quick it is. Oh my god. It's so fast. going oh and I keep banging my head on this thing this is what I mean about this thing on my head that is so uncomfortable oh this car is uh, is way too much fun oh right okay uh, we're going to a private uh, airfield now I'm losing my my t-shirt keeps flying up in the wind a private airfield to uh, put it into rear wheel drive and do some naughty little donuts Okay, I'm gonna go have some fun in the fields. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more future videos to come. I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye. Bye. 